Hi everyone, welcome back to Fembot IT. My name is Julie, and today we're doing a video on internet gateways, NAT gateways, and egress only gateways. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, please subscribe if you love it, and let's get into it. Okay, so there's just a couple of things that I wanted to go over uh, regarding gateways to help you get prepared for your Certified Solutions Architect exam. The first thing we want to cover is the internet gateways. And internet gateways, they translate a private address to a single public IP address. And it's great for public resources. So let's say, for example, um, from a previous video that we did on Bastion Host in EC2 instances, this is our Bastion Host sitting in our, pub, our public subnet. So what happens if it goes out to the internet, it will use its private IP address that is attached to the EC2 instance itself It'll use the private IP address. It'll get to the internet gateway, and the internet gateway will say, oh, look, this has this resource has a public IP address attached to it, or has a public IP address that it uses. And so what will happen is the internet gateway will then switch out the private IP address for the public IP address to go out. And it works in a bi-directional way. So when that public IP address of the EC2 instance comes back in, it'll swap it out for the private EC2 instance to come back in. And this is really great for um, public resources. But what do we do for our private resources? Well, for private resources, we use a NAT gateway. And NAT gateways, they work slightly different than the internet gateways. So they translate private IP addresses to one single public IP address. And that's why you have to have an elastic IP address attached to your NAT gateway in order to use them. So let's say, for example, we have this EC2 instance. It's in the private subnet. It needs to get out to the internet to get some software updates. So it would go to the router. The router would kick it to the NAT gateway. And at this point, the NAT gateway swaps the private IP address swaps it for the public and goes out, and then allows it to come back in with the updates for the EC2 instance. Works the same for RDS instances, whatever you need to get out to get software updates and get back in. So a couple other things besides them needing an Elastic IP address, they're not associated with security groups. So you see here there's no security group around this NAT gateway. They are associated with NACLs. They are not highly available, so it's best practice, AWS best practice, to put them in each availability zone that you are using. And it is good to note that they will automatically scale to your load. Um, so it's a great resource for your private resources. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to cover was egress-only gateways. And they function the same as your internet gateway, except for they are used with IPv6 addresses. Um, and that's really all I wanted to cover. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for coming by, and I'll see you next time.